the late Gwen Ifill, a beloved reporter who anchored the PBS Evening News, once said, we cannot expect the world to get better by itself. We have to create something. We can leave the next generation. Gwen died four years ago, and through her defense of press freedom, she has left us a legacy which we can carry forward. Gwen was a supporter and longtime board member of the Committee to Protect Journalists, which has named an award in her honor. The Gwen Ifill Award is given every year for extraordinary and sustained achievement in the cause of press freedom. This evening's award is presented to a woman who exemplifies the tireless struggle for press freedom and justice. And she's not only something every journalist needs, which is a great lawyer, but she's also a defender of the international laws that make free expression possible. Tonight, we honor her work to ensure that governments and tyrants are made accountable for their unprecedented attacks on press freedom. It's my great honor to announce Amal Clooney as the 2020 recipient of the Gwen Ifill Award. Amal brings her skill as an advocate and her expertise in international human rights law to help free journalists who are unjustly imprisoned and to protect those who face such imprisonment. We're facing a free speech crisis in the world today and it's extremely concerning. Record numbers of journalists are being abused across the world through vilification, threats, surveillance, imprisonment, even murder. She has defended journalists around the world and helped win their freedom. Among them, Mohammed Fahmy, an Al Jazeera journalist, investigative reporter Khadija Ismailova, jailed in Azerbaijan, and in Myanmar, Reuters journalists Walon and Cha So U. Amal has represented clients before courts such as the International Criminal Court and the European Court of Human Rights. Her organization, the Clooney Foundation for Justice, monitors press freedom violations and provides free legal representation for those in greatest need. It is time to make justice your priority so that history can record what happened, so that we can stop it from happening again.